Word. Oh, ran the M through Gumroad. I need to get one of them. See, movies don't make you no money, huh? Yeah, no, I don't spend my time in here, but you know, if we having like a little fight night or of something, course. or we watching like a Super Bowl, then it'll probably be active. But on a daily basis, bro, I'll be in here watching nothing. You right. don't just sports bet yourself. Uh -huh. You teach other people to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, I teach other people and I have my own group chat where people pay me monthly. You said you made your first M at how old? 21. This ain't even called, this ain't even no backyard no more, bro. It's a little palace you got back here. This the real deal that made his own island. Brief intermission from Miami, dog. Look, before we can really get into the video, I know y'all see what's going on. Give me a second, man. So my boy Vic, y'all see what's going on. My boy Vic, as y'all see right here, he has the number one sports betting chat. What that means, if anybody want to get into sports betting, you don't even got to learn sports betting, man. He basically does it for you. Join this chat. $60 a month or lifetime membership for $1,000, man. Click the link in the description. Make sure you join the sports betting chat and he'll tell you exactly where to put your money at how much money to put there when to put it there all of the above all within a chat man it's it's basically free money like he said he already maxed out man he's just trying to teach y'all how to do it make sure i click the first link in my description dog and join the chat i'm in it you should be too so back to the video let's get it Logan, okay, look we back with another video man i know y'all see the title i know you guys see the thumbnail man we are back with another video got another crazy one man this might be one of the craziest house tours right here. I'm not going to lie, man. But if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Glow Gang. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And make sure you drop a comment telling me you're new here so I can like your comment and respond to it. But if you're not new here, man, welcome back, Glow Gang. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know I like to bring y'all around my network of people because everything is about the people you surround yourself with, right? Got like a 30-minute trip out to Vic's crib, man. If you're not familiar with my boy Goat Vic, going crazy with sports betting, bro, like. Getting a bag off the sports bag, for real, for real. So, about to go out there, politic with him, pick his brain, man. Mansion crazy, car collection even crazier, man. Um, but shit, what I gotta tell y'all about? Um, oh look, y'all, I'm doing a five day challenge, right, with my with my mentor, Push Man Mitch. So for five days straight, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to turn your followers into dollars, man. Get on the waiting list and put the link in the description. We only gonna open 200 slots for y'all, so make sure as soon as you watch this video. Go to the description and sign up for the waiting list, man. Tickets go on sale on the 22nd, I think. Tickets might be like $200 to learn from us for five days straight. So what's that, like $30 a day or $60 a day or something like that to learn from us? So, y'all, look, I definitely advise you doing that. If you want to learn how to turn your followers to dollars, learn how to do what I do. Uh, and he's going to teach you about Airbnbs and um, luxury rentals, all the above, man. You got to invest in yourself. A lot of y'all, y'all won't to be rich and y'all want to get where you want to go in life but you're not willing to invest in yourself if you're not going to invest two hundred dollars in yourself man you ain't gonna make it too far and that's just truth be told because what friday coming up i bet you money you invest money and going out and having fun for the weekend but you want to invest in your future you can only blame yourself man take accountability for your actions outside of that bro shit life is good man i'm just trying to find my wife bro that's all i ain't even looking but it's gonna come the time gonna come one of these days bro but Shit, for now, I just been vibing, living my lifestyle, bro. Life is good. I can't complain. I just be traveling. Dolly, it's me by my lonely, man. Last few days, I'm in Houston right now. I was in Miami yesterday, and the day before that, I was in Atlanta. But it's just been bouncing around like crazy, y'all. So it's, it's been crazy, but it's going to get right, though. We're going to get it right. We're going to tighten up real quick, man. But... You know, I don't like to bore y'all with all my talking, man. So, whenever I pull up to fit my boy Vic crib. So, as I see, man, I pulled up on my boy Vic, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was at I was at your crib, like, what, a month or two ago? It was a while. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I tell y'all, Vic is one of my spirit animals. In the sense of just doing whatever the f he wants to do. Like, it's, it's a Wednesday, right? I think that's the day of the week. Do you know what day of the week it is? It's Wednesday, right? He's just getting a cut in the middle of the day. For whatever reason, do you have an occasion or anything you about to do, brother? Uh, I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. Going to Mexico tomorrow. Is, is it an occasion or why you going to Mexico? Mexico just going to Mexico. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, I'm working on my Spanish. You working on your Spanish? That's why I'm going to Mexico. You going down there to learn Spanish, huh? You know they got Rosetta Stone. Nah, I, I'm already know him. So we just going out to go. We're working, so it's about time we... I ain't gonna lie, bro. You've been going absolutely crazy. Not even just financially, just with your sports betting, like group chats, everything you got going on, bro. So look, what is the mindset? Why do you why do you keep going? Like, even at the crib, you had just built the pool. As I can see, you got he got a pool right there. It was being built. 
Pool got done and he's like, all right, fuck it, throw a basketball court over there. What's the mindset behind it? Um, I think just creating an environment where you can be at peace and also be proud of your work at the same time. Um, I play basketball a lot. I like hooping. You know, I like traveling and stuff. So I try to bring that stuff into like my proximity. So when I wake up, I'm reminded of things that I like to do and I just keep going. So it keeps your hunger up, you know? That's the fact. And when you say proximity, that ties in a lot with proximity of relationships. Mm -hmm. How important do you feel like the people around you are? Because you know they say, hey, surround yourself with nine rich people, you'll be the 10th and vice versa. Exactly. Surround yourself with nine broke people, you'll be the 10th one. Exactly. Um, I think that's the most important thing. It's like what you put in your body, what you put in your car, what you put in your ear, what you, you know, see on social media, what you consume. It's the same thing with who's around you. So if you're around a whole bunch of people that's, you know, bullshit and playing 2k and smoking weed all day yeah you're just gonna be playing and smoking weed all day that's you're fact. not gonna be the one that's like yo i want to start a business or yo because it's gonna be lame to them because that's not what they're used to that's a fact but if you're around people that's used to that they're gonna be laughing at you because your business ain't as fast as theirs so mm -hmm. they your business not doing the same numbers and then you're gonna be like damn I, he did eight million i'm only doing six million yeah so let me go ahead and you know get some advice or you know tap in so if you're around the right people you your shit is gonna go and when he say that y'all we're not saying and, and my people like that the same way too in a sense of, oh damn he did eight i need to do ten or if i do eight he'd be like i did ten mm -hmm. it's not no competition mind you it's not necessarily competition that motivates if you're a real hustler you thinking you're going crazy so that might be the one thing you need you feel right. like damn i did eight what else can i do from here yeah. you call your boy i did eight bro i'm going crazy he say yeah i did ten not now that's gonna open your mind up to like damn it's actually more that's possible you feel what i'm saying what, what am i missing what am i missing that'd be the biggest part what am i missing so y'all damn you got a mini golf course over here bro yeah stop it stop y'all man look y'all gotta check this out bro this is different this next level next level like when i tell y'all this is what I talk about when I say it's just, it just, it doesn't make sense, bruh. I mean, it makes sense, but when I say, yo, this is definition of you can do whatever you want. Bruh, got a full fledged basketball court, then followed up by a golf course over here, y'all. This is different, you feel me? Like, come on, a mini golf course right here. And, and the biggest question would be a mini golf course in your backyard, but why? You feel me? It's just like, what, what's the what's the purpose of it? But then again, it come to like, why not? You know, that's the biggest thing a lot of people with money tell me, like, shit, when I say, like, the crazy things they purchase, I be like, why? They be like, why not? You feel what I'm saying? Yo, look, he even got, that. yo, this a hot tub right here, bro? That's a hot tub. That shit motivate me, because trust, no matter what level you at, it's always somebody doing 10 times more than you, 20 times, 100 times more than you. No matter what you got going on, somebody always doing more than you, you feel me? And, and like, I was just out there saying, bro, what what is the why? What's your why? My why, damn. I think every day it's a new why, um, because every day it's a new it's a new concept, it's a new thing that you have to learn, it's a new thing that you have to be disciplined about. You know, you could be my why is oh I want a nice car or I want a big house, and then once you get a nice car and a big house, your cousin need help with his business, and your mom she need to pay her bills, and your dad need, it's like. There's so many different needs and every day is going to be something new. So you need new whys. You need to be able to be flexible when it comes down to your motivation. So because things that you think you want, once you get them, you're going to be like, man, yeah, I did yeah. all of this just for this. I only like this for two weeks. Then you got to be able to switch it up and just keep pushing. So you feel like that too? And not even speaking on your new car collection, y'all, we're going to get there. <laughs> but you even feel like that. Like, let's say your career, if you had it for a while, you keep adding on. Are you adding on because you're getting used to it or tired of it maybe? Um, I don't see myself living here for a long time, you know, mm. um, a lot of people would be like, oh, this is like a forever, forever home. This is like my first career. So I don't know if y'all ever played RuneScape, but the first, the first castle you, you start at is not going to be your last one. Like you're going to keep going on to bigger places and mm -hmm. bigger things. And, you know, I think this is just like a starting point. So I think there's definitely a lot, a lot of room for growth and just pushing myself to Y'all, you hear him. Be at, you know? Y'all, y'all hear him saying, think, right? In the sense of think, think ties into your mindset, bro. Your mindset is everything. It's like like a lot of people would think this is their forever home. Now, when you put it in your head that this is your forever home, guess what? You're gonna get right here and stop. Yep. The hunger not gonna go on no more. You're not gonna be like, fuck it, let me get up again and go even harder because you feel like you already hit the finish line. Right. When the last time you seen somebody run a race and keep running another lap after they, they get through the finish line? Nobody. Dude. Never. It never ever happens. So what you need to do is keep adding laps on your race. And you gotta understand too, just because you at one spot. In the race, you might be on the third lap and somebody else could be on a 10th lap. You see what I'm saying? So don't think that just like him, for instance, 
he, I ain't got what he got going on, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, this let me know I can do it too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he may be at his 10th lap. Yeah, who knows how many laps in the race, but it's like, I can do that too. Just matter of your mindset and surround yourself around the right people, bro. You got it. I'm telling y'all, y'all hear me stress that in every single one of my videos, bro. You show me your friends, I can show your future. And I can't dwell on that no harder because like you said, man, if your friends want to sit around and smoke weed, and a lot of people that sit around and smoke weed, guess what they're going to tell you? The weed helped me. A lot of people say that. It helped me. I focus better when I'm high. No, no, no. You're blinded. You just don't know no better. Literally. And that's what somebody going to say this on crack. Man, I operate better when I'm, when I'm high off this coke. No, no, no. No, you don't. <laughs> but, man, look. I think my boy about to get his hair cut real quick, y'all. Well, actually, what you doing? Setting the, setting the lights up? Yeah. So what's the, what's the new car collection that you done had lately? I know you got something different. Where, where, how you went different? I just copped a couple new cars. Uh, I went and got another G-Wagon first. Mm -hmm. Then I went and got the McLaren, the 720. Um, and I bought an Escalade a couple of days ago, just on some daily driver stuff. And y'all should have saw the caption he put on the picture as why he bought the Escalade. He said he was riding around with the G-Wagon. Was it your sister in the back? Yeah. yeah. His sister was in the back seat of the G-Wagon and said it wasn't very spacious. He said he had never sat back there, right? Yeah, I had never sat back there, so I didn't know. So when she was complaining, I'm like, you bugging. And I look over, I'm like, damn, it is kind of tight. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I can't spend 250 on the truck and people can't even be comfortable. See, this is cool. <laughs> That's a fact. So I was like, ain't no way. So next day, I woke up, went by the Escalade ESV so we could fit seven people in that bitch. Come on. Like, it's more comfortable. Come on. It make more sense. Come on. You still got the SVR? Uh, nah. I sold it. So ah, I used to have sold that to me. Yep. I would have bought it. <laughs> hey, SVR, that whole smooth, bro. The SVR smooth. That was one of my favorite cars I ever had. But um, I think the G Wagon, I thought I was getting an upgrade in the space. Mm -hmm. Whole time I wasn't. Nah. I went and had to go double back and get an Escalade. So I really just should. But you see, he liked the G Wagon still because he didn't get rid of it. Yup. Yep. <laughs> he said, Yup. <laughs> I do. That's going to be the two seater. <laughs> nah, facts. That's the two seater. I ain't going to lie. The lineup smooth is all black too, y'all. We're going to get to that at some point in the video. But not right now, man. It ain't even about that. It ain't even about us just showing y'all what it is. We want to show y'all that it's possible, of course, because. I mean, I know a lot of people watch my content. It can be all races. You don't have to just be black. You don't have to just be white. No, you don't have to be nothing. But the thing is, you can do it too, no matter what it is. And do you feel like, you know, a lot of people think because they too old. It's some people in my comments be 35, 40, feeling like it's about over. Do you feel like you still got possibility at that time? Um, absolutely. Because I feel like a lot of people, they compare themselves to people who are really wealthy, but also really old at the same time. And they forget to realize that it takes time to become wealthy. Mm. You know, like I say, Warren Buffett, he a billionaire, but he in his 90s. People who's 30 with nothing, would you trade place with Warren Buffett because he's a billionaire? I mean, he's 90, you know what I mean? Okay. You don't want his life, you just want his money. That's a fact. So you have to understand that money and time is separate. It don't matter how old you is, you can literally get your money in like a year or two if you just grind and hustle and focus. But you don't want to be no 90-year-old billionaire, you want to be a 40-year-old billionaire or yeah. a 30-year-old billionaire, but as long as you got time, then you can make it happen. That's what I be hearing a lot. It's just, I, man, I see all these young guys on the internet. You guys are in your 20s. Speaking of 20s, what you, 26, 27? Yeah, I'm about to be 27. Yeah, you about to be 27. So at, at that point, too, it lets you know, if y'all are younger, I know a lot of y'all younger watch my videos, 17, 18. Look, this can be you. He, he did it at weight. When do you feel like you really started getting money? How old were you? I think I was, when I hit my first million, I was 21. He was 21 with his first M. Let y'all know, he did it at 21. It's somebody that didn't do it at 18. I know some people that did it at 18. I know some people that did it even younger than that. So age don't mean nothing, bro. We got these phones. The same way you're sitting here watching this video, you could be, I ain't gonna lie, this is motivational content. So I feel like this type of good content to watch. This is what I watch on YouTube. Between This is my entertainment. Watching stuff that motivate me or listening to ebooks. Mm. That's it. I don't, I don't really... I don't go no further than that. I'm not really the type. I don't want to see no pranks on YouTube because what you consume too much of is what you become. You feel me? And it's like, what do you gain out of watching certain shit on YouTube? If it's not motivating you, like, it's a lot of stuff people watch. And I don't watch TV. Nothing on TV really is going to motivate me because it's like, okay, it's a movie. I watched the end of this movie. Well, okay. Well, what did I get out of watching that movie? Exactly. Absolutely nothing. What happens after? What happens after? That's why I ask myself for a lot of things. Even, like, this whole, like, my player thing on 2K. Mm -hmm. Like, what happens after you get to 99? You know what I mean? Then, then 2K25 come out. Come on. Then you get to 99 again. What happens after? And then 2K26. You just keep going. So you on a hook. You on a hook. You stuck, you know? And you're going to be stuck in that loop until you break out of the what happens after and realizing that it's nothing. Fact. You know? So you wasting all this time, all this precious time that you could be changing your life with. But you're trying to, you're trying to get right on, on Madden. Feel me? <laughs> like, so it's come like on, crazy bro. to me, bro. Like, I ain't no... I, I ain't going to lie, bro. I wish... I wish... A girl would be like, I'm finna buy you 2K or Madden. No, 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 no. Actually, there's this course I've been looking at. You should give me that. 
Because that way it's going to produce me some income. And I ain't going to say you can't make vid money from playing video games. You can. You can make money from doing absolutely everything. However, if you're not in that lane or if you're not streaming all your content or doing something, what, you can't just be playing the game online with your friends and going to, going to work the next day talking about who's sorry on 2K and stuff. Like, bro, this shit's not going to get y'all no further. Y'all both still got to clock in tomorrow. It don't matter. So it'll be like, focus on certain shit that really matters to you, man. We didn't drop the game for y'all for a second, man. I'm letting him finish this cut. Then we go to house tour. Then we got to do a garage tour. I ain't going to lie. Crazy lineup. I ain't never rode in the 720S. Can you can take me riding. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Come on. Come on, y'all. Yeah, we're going to be back for that. Took a brief intermission. As you see, I don't got the hat on no more. Took the hat off. Because look, Glow got a cut, man. Look, Glow getting right, man. I had to get my hair braided up. Y'all know that long shit when your hair be long, bro. You don't want to deal with that shit every day. But... Back to it, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. We got my boy. He big sliced up now. Y'all saw him in the chair first. Say my boy sliced and diced now. You know yeah, that. Shursky. You know that. Say he, he got the booty fade, man. He really ain't got. He ain't got no hair left, man. He done. But back to real life, man. So as y'all can see behind me, his home of abode is amazing, beautiful piece of piece of art here. Got the black. You just did the black wall, huh? Yeah. Fine. Put that in uh, along with some other things that we added on. Obviously the backyard and shit, but let's go to this. Do you come from money? Like, what's the background? Oh, nah, <laughs> not at all. For real? Um, so my dad, he he was the only one working in my house. Mm -hmm. Obviously my mom was at home, you know, taking care of us. I got three brothers. So we be in that bitch, you know, obviously Great. tearing it up. Back to school, we sharing like a $250 budget. Damn. For, for like the whole year, literally. What? We getting, nigga, I'm talking about pay less shoes, like all type of shit, bro. Oh, so do you think? Oh wait, wait! The office right here, crazy, y'all, y'all. Hold on, he got the light up sign in the office right here now, y'all. Y'all can see behind me. Got the goat thick right. office set up. Y'all having an office is essential, right? Yeah, facts. You gotta have it. Yeah, this hard. This is hard, man. So look. In the gum road joint. Word. Oh, we're in the M through gum road. I need to get one of them. Like I need three, four M's in there right now. Say you know. Still get up and hustle like you broke every day, right? Right. That's the same way I am, man. I don't know what it is about me, but it's like no matter what, I don't care if I make three hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars a day. As yeah. soon as that shit done, I'm like, all right, I yeah, made that. Do it again. You feel me? Yeah. And it's like, why? I don't know why, but shit different. Okay, you got to keep off rug right here, pool table. You know what I think it is really? Cause I was telling one of my homeboys, I was like, entrepreneurship is like a boxing match, except you blindfolded the whole time. Mm. You feel me? So it's like if you're not throwing them punches, you're gonna get knocked out. Yep. But once you get out the ring, you still throwing them punches because you're just so used to, you used to defending it. yourself. You know what I mean? People are like, oh, you up 100 M's, why are you still working? Bro. I keep throwing punches because I've been in the ring. I've been in the ring. You know what I mean? I know what it's like. But as soon as you put your hands down, somebody gonna come and get your shit. And you know what's crazy? I've just been preaching that, bro. Somebody's like, uh, somebody asked me, so how, how is entrepreneurship? What does it mean? I said, winging it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I said, what's the definition of entrepreneurship? Winging it. Blindfolded. By Blindfolded, bro. And it's like, no matter what you, is there any times you can just take your mind off work and just live your life? Can you do that? Nah. I can't do it. Nah, I don't think I can, bro. It's not in me. I, oh, yeah, the theater right here. Oh yeah. Crazy. I'd rather be in here though. I probably watch like five or six movies in here. I've been in here for a year, so. See, movies don't make you no money, huh? Yeah, no, I don't spend my time in here, but you know, if we having like a little fight night or of something, course. or we watching like a Super Bowl, then it'll probably be active. But on a daily basis, bro, I don't be in here watching nothing. Big ass projector too. Yeah. Say we don't, he say he don't be in here, but when he is, if you need to be in here, he can be in here. I need to be for sure. Nah, that's a fact. Sports, but wait, it's bigger. I know it's bigger for you than just sports betting. Like you right. don't just sports bet yourself. Uh -huh. You teach other people to do it, right? Yeah, yeah. I teach other people when I have my own group chat where people pay me monthly so, to take my picks. So what feel better to you? You being able to make your own money and knowing that you're making other people money? Knowing that I make other people money. I done mm -hmm. made $10 million already. For sure. You know, but when I make somebody $600 to pay that car note, they're like, hey, that yo, like, you looked out. And I'm just like, damn, like, I'm really blessing people with my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, instead of you asking me for 600 I lose 600 you gain 600 I'm literally giving you a way to make your 600 every month. While I'm at the crib, you know, making what I'm making. That's real. It talk. feels good to know that I'm helping other people get out their situation. Money, it's not changing my situation. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get a, a bigger house or faster cars. True. Like I done maxed out. True. But if I help somebody go from zero to one to two to three to four, and then they build it themselves, and it feels way better, bro. That hit different. Speaking of cars, bro, I know that we ain't even got to the whips, bro. We gotta get to the whips. We gotta get. I ain't we gonna, gonna lie. To the That's yeah. I know y'all here for that, and I know y'all saw at the very beginning of the video how I got all the clips edited in here where y'all can see off top. But just give us a second, man. We want to motivate you. We don't just want to show you 
the money. We want to show you and teach you how to get the money. Maybe we maybe not even directly show you how to get the money, but show you the mindset it takes to get the money. You see what I'm saying? Because guess what? One thing about life, what works, what works for me may not work for you. What works for him may not work for you. And what I like to tell people is, is 8 billion people on the earth. One thing you got to do is learn how to be your own individual. You being a duplicate of somebody else, that makes your life useless. You feel me? You got to learn how to be your own individual and understand that the only way you're going to get where you want to be is when you're fully comfortable being yourself. Being a copy of somebody else ain't going to get you nowhere. Think about Lil Baby, for instance, right? If another artist come out and look just like him, sound just like him, he not going to blow. You know why? Because they already got Lil Baby. Yep. They don't need you. <laughs> Same way with life. This Matter of fact, this ain't even called, this ain't even no backyard no more, bro. It's a little palace you got back here. This the real deal that made his own island. You don't even got to go to Mexico if you don't want to. But I want to. But I want to. <laughs> <laughs> so look, man, I ain't gonna lie. You said you made your first M at how old? 21. Made the first M at 21. Okay, put that in perspective. There's some 21 year olds out here making $20 an hour and they're, they're happy. Yeah. So were you, were, what was on your mind at 21 to have you like, I want an M? Um, I never divided money by like hours. Mm. I never had a job where oh, I'm making thirty dollars an hour, forty dollars an hour. So I never really compared myself to other people who was making that type of money. I didn't understand that type of money. Word. Um, I think I made my first hundred thousand dollars, and then you know if you divide that by hourly, it's like you know fifty, $50 sixty dollars an hour. That's true. I run around telling people I'm making fifty, sixty dollars an hour. Like where you work? Find out I work for myself. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was a whole different ball game. It's a whole different area of making money. So you never really had a job? No, I, I never had a job a day in my life, bro. What? My wait, life. wait, why is that? Did you have you ever thought about getting a job? Like, I know uh, you saw everybody around you with a job, so why not? I applied for a Foot Locker okay. one time. But after I got denied, the application took me like an hour and a half, bro. I got denied. I was like, I ain't never doing that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I no cap. I'm out my time, bro. I'm 16, That's thinking a fact. I'm going to be the shoe plug. Man, the motherfucker said no. I'm, they said hell no. Hey, I ain't doing this shit no more. <laughs> Never again. So, so wait, what were you doing in at 21? Oh, one, once they denied me, I started buying shoes off Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I went on the shoe group, right? So what you do is you buy the shoes like when they're like kind of like beat up and people don't want them no more. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to fix them. So then I started what? restoring the shoes. I bought a pair of white cement threes for like thirty dollars. It was beat beat to hell. So I went to Michael's, got the paint, and then went and got the little towel and started taking the creases out, fixing the paint. For real? I sold them for 140 two hours later, bro. What? I swear to God. I swear to God. I still got pictures of all of that shit on Facebook, bro. <laughs> I, now, I used to do that with cars. I yeah. used to buy and sell cars all the time. I'd buy a car because I used to be a technician. So, like, that was my whole coming. I used to work in Mercedes. When I was 19, I was working in Mercedes oh, yeah, as a man. technician. Well, no, that was before that. Mm -hmm. Then I went to a service advisor, but I knew how to work on cars, so I did the same thing. I think I bought, like, an 07 Camry, right? I think it needed a transfer case and it needed, it needed stuff, right? It needed some work. It needed work, right? But I got the car on Facebook Marketplace. Same, yeah. like Facebook Marketplace. Listen, y'all, if you starting out, do not sleep on Facebook Marketplace. I promise you can make 100%. a crazy yeah. bag off there because yeah. most people that list items on there, I hate to say it, but most people that list items on there are in need for money. So with that yeah. being said, whatever price you see, you can knock it out. It's very negotiable. Especially mm -hmm. if you tell them I'll come get it right now, mm -hmm. they'll use the go for it, right? They're going to be flexible. flexible. But Facts. So I bought a car. And once I bought this car, I think I bought it for like fifteen hundred dollars, bro. Only had one hundred nine thousand miles on it. Now that's a oh, camera. That, that's a that sounds like a lot, deal. but that's, that's a, a camera. Deal. You feel yeah. me? They go so to what I exactly? Guess where I went? Straight to the Savage Yard. Of course, there's another one sitting there. I said, okay, parts good on this. Said that took the parts out, threw the parts in. In one day, bro, I flipped that car for four grand. With it, and then I threw in another two hundred dollars to get the parts. Yeah, the smooth. Come on, just off having a skill set, you have to have a skill set to get money. It's not necessarily about your degrees. No, really, the world don't care about your degrees, bro. It's never. It's not even about that no more. Wait, did you go to college? I went to college for four years, but I dropped out. So how the hell you drop out after going to college for four years? It only take four years. I was in an degree. engineering degree. It was a five-year plan, so I dropped out my last semester. But I mean, you know, people call me crazy, but if I had got the degree, I feel like I need to use it. Mm. So I didn't want to have the pressure of like, man, I got it. I gotta go apply it. I was that's like, right. man, I don't want it. I'ma just, hey, I'ma just do what I gotta do. Yeah, that's <laughs> straight crazy. bare knuckles. That's so, crazy. Yeah, look, you got sitting area right here, man. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. This good. oh half court basketball. It's, that's crazy. Like it's not every day you see somebody with a basketball court. And you know that's not normal, right? I actually didn't know that. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You I, didn't, see, you, I see a lot of people with basketball courts. I'm like, I need me one too. Exactly. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? And it's perspective. You put All yourself right. around that, and that's why I had to ask you. Like, you know that's not normal, right? He said, No, nah, I didn't know that. But it's perspective, y'all. Surround yourself. And uh, come on now. Wait, why? Let me get active. Why? Let me let me see what let me see what you made up, guy. Hey, come on, bro. Come on, come on. Show I me really something. Me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up. Come on now. It's on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't like that. He ain't like that, y'all. What's that? I ain't like that. Let me see form. All right. Okay. Straight elbows.
That's money. Oh, oh. <laughs> away, it yeah. was money though. That shit was lie. lined up. It, right? was, it was like that. The other ball was in the way. Hey, look, man. Hey, we gonna what? say it was holding one. We gonna yeah, give we gonna him that. We gonna say that, That's man. I ain't gonna lie. So look, y'all. I think we at the point now, bro. I, I think. I, you think they ready for some whips, bro? We can show them the whips. Let's show them some whips, man. Let's look. Yeah, we we'll be over there in a second, y'all. Hold up. Let's escalate this. I just bought like forty-eight hours ago, bro. Like literally, like two days. I wasn't having leg room in the G wagon, so I was like, let me just go get some. You said here, what? Bro. You bought it? Why? Like, wasn't having leg room in the G. So I was like, we need to escalate, bro. So I went up to Post Stoke and grabbed that bitch. Yeah, yeah. He he said he he bought this because he wasn't having enough leg room inside the G wagon, man. Definitely different. Now, one thing I know about this car, bro. One thing about the 720 and the 570, like tall people. I don't see how tall people drive these, bro. Yeah, I'm 5'10", 5'11", and I'm me? barely fitting in here, bro. Like, it don't even feel it. I like it, though. This, I think it makes it more feel more spacious because you got this. Yeah. Wait, what is this, dude? You can just change it. No way. Can y'all see that shit? Like, that's hard. Mm. This joint hard. And got that. Oh, you put it in active mode. What do you think the biggest key to being successful is? What did it take to be successful? The biggest key to be successful? Um, I would say persistency mm -hmm. and consistency. Persistency and consistency. Um, the reason why I say those two is because people let one bad day knock them off their whole entire journey. That's a fact. So you gotta be persistent. And then some people let one skip day mm -hmm. knock them off their whole journey. That's why you gotta be consistent. That's a so fact. You can't skip and you can't give up. Yeah, a lot of people they'll look at certain shit and like they'll start a clothing brand, right? Mm -hmm. And the first drop don't sell out, they'll give up on the whole brand. Right. So that's the persistency and consistency mixed in. That's all it's about. I think that's the biggest thing even with me too, is just being consistent and persistent in my craft. Granted, yes, you have your times where you you mentally might not be there, so you take space out, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. But don't take too long. Right. Hurry up and get your shit together and get back to the grind. Right. It's life. We all going through something. Most say. You ain't even in it for real. Nah. Couldn't have been. And it just got loose. Like it just, it just starts sliding. I just tapped it, bro. That shit it. different, bro. Like I yeah. think you have to learn how to drive these type of cars. Like people be like, oh, my dream car is a Lamborghini yeah. SBJ or whatever. I mean, like you can't go from a Honda Accord to an SBJ Hell no. without some type of training to the point where you know how to drive the car and handle the vehicle. You gotta know how to drive the car. You know what I mean? Facts. Kill yourself. I'm saying you. Dumb shit. Facts. On some dumb shit. I'm a adrenaline drunk chunky. I love that speed shit. It's just something about speed, bro. This is like, I gotta have it. This shit's fire. To get the Tesla run, I ain't gonna lie. We ain't gonna be able to get the Tesla out today because he gotta run. Mr. Busy Man gotta go to Mexico tomorrow. <laughs> what you gotta do tonight, bro? I'm gonna go pack, gotta go get a couple fits on the mall before they close. Yeah, man. So, look, I hope y'all gained a lot of game. Matter of fact, all right, y'all. So, you see, we in Miami. Didn't really get to finish out that video, but I wanted to finish it here, man. You made it this far. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. I I'm really out here on a journey for y'all, bro. Just trying to. Turn the content up for y'all. Make sure y'all click all the links in the description. Sign up for my five-day challenge as well. Make sure you get in the sports betting chat, man. So I just want to teach y'all how to get some money. Let's get it.